This video will demonstrate creation of a welding procedure specification from an existing PQR. There are two methods that can be used to create the WPS from a PQR. One method is to use the Record Creation Manager to create a new WPS based on an existing PQR. The other method is to create a new WPS by saving an existing PQR as a new WPS. This video will demonstrate creation of a WPS by opening the PQR from the Record Selection Manager and saving it as a new WPS. Go to the File menu and select Open. The Record Selection Manager will open, allowing you to select the PQR that you would like to use for the welding procedure specification. When the Record Selection Manager opens, you can filter out what documents you would like to see. In this case, we will only want to see the PQRs that are written in accordance with ASME Section 9. And after the PQR is open, go to the File menu and select Save As New and WPS. A new WPS will be generated using the ranges allowed by the PQR. You'll need to enter a new document number. In this case, we'll select an existing number and put in a revision number. You can now enter information about the WPS. Information for reference documents and scope can be selected from a menu or can be added to the menu as needed. When you have to make the decision whether to add the item to the menu, consider whether it will be used again in any future documents. If it will, it is best to select Yes. You can also indicate where the joint details will be located for the WPS. As you can see, most of the information has been filled out in the WPS based on the information in the PQR. You will need to enter the variable ranges that are allowed by the code as needed. Each process has a column generated for the filler materials. Each individual column can be split up to five times to allow for different filler material sizes and parameters. Enter the information for your WPS as needed by your company. After this information has been entered, go to the top of the form and select the second page. On the second page you'll be allowed to enter information regarding the joint designs used in the WPS and also the applicable preheat information for each code. In addition to the drop down menus, you can enter text from the reusable notes feature in the Weld Office software. Just go to the notes and select which notes you'd like to have entered. If the electronic signature feature has been turned on, you can sign the document by just clicking in the signature box to the right of the name. If you have any additional questions, contact CSPEC support by calling the number shown below or send an email to support at cspec.com.